Yo, what is up guys? My name is Slickmoff. I'm back again with another video and as you can see I just uh, got out of the shower. I'm not exactly camera ready at this point. Rarely am I ever anyway, but anyway. So Batman Return to Arkham official side-by-side -side comparison video. This is what I woke up to right out of the shower. This is what I got. So there is apparently what I'm guessing this is is Batman. Uh, I'm on Batman Arkham the official channel right now. And they're going to show some side-by-side -side graphics of actual in-engine gameplay between PS3 and PS4. Of course, this is, um, you know, shots fired basically at, at all the graphics comparison videos that came out right after that were suggesting that the game wasn't as good. And, and certainly some trailer shots made it appear that way, but we'll see how it actually looks in the game. So without further ado, I'm just interested to see this. I'm just going to go into this straight away, just sort of open-minded. By the way, I saw in the description, the game comes out on October 18th, and I reported to you that the game is coming out on November 25th. Base.com is a fucking joke. Fuck Base.com. Um, they were make they said September 2nd and November. So, you know, and, and somebody, one of my subscribers even reached out to them and showed me the message of Base.com saying, yeah, we're sure it's November 25th. So, um, they just, it, it, I, I'm not even going to get started on Base.com. So, October 18th, very good. Turn the volume up a little bit. Let's see the official side-by-side -side comparison. This is the official one from WB Games. So you see Virtuous there, or Virtuos, however you say it. PS3 versus PS4 comparison. Now I wonder if they show 360 versus Xbox One. So you see that the color palette is definitely darker, which I like. If you notice, the floor is more gray. I like that. I like the darker textures. Remember, initially we thought the opposite, that, um, that maybe it would be a little lighter. But um, that's not looking the case here. In fact, they sort of darkened and... The, the textures and the textures definitely look more grainy on PS3. Oh wow. I mean that really shows it there. First of all, you have the rain textures, right? Now, was there even rain on Asylum and PS3? No, there wasn't. So they added rain to fit in with City and Night, which I really like. I mean the signature rain effects on the the costume is something that it's cool to see. <laughs> and you can see they're playing it a little bit like it's like come on Jimmy fucking move up you know like they're playing right next to each other they're trying to get footage to, so it's exactly the same you can see it definitely also what you'll notice is that the character right here the guard is doing the same exact thing indicating that this is probably a direct copy and there was no wiggle room to like oh let's change this or change that which is a good thing if you love the game like I did and, and it really is just a graphical rehaul, you know what I mean? Here, you can't tell too much of a difference, I think. Um, once again, the 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 it's the suit is darker. Is my phone vibrating? No, it's a lawnmower. Um, yeah, you can see, like, the gray. This is sort of like gray and black, if you think about it, his suit on PS3. But Now, I wonder if they are going to show... Xbox 360 verse 1, because people are going to want to see that, you know, what the difference is there. I, th I have my pre-order on PS4, I'm pretty certain, so. Oh, wow, look at that hallway, it's so much better. You see the blues, it pops so much there, and it just looks way better on PS4. It's just, it's not even that it's bright, because because the Joker suit is brighter there, it's just the, the colors pop. What they're trying to do, like... The black pops more, uh, and the and the bright colors here on Joker suit it pops more. So there's more definition, I feel. So definitely an improvement. And right here, you're seeing it. It's not mind blowing by any stretch of the imagination, but of course the game is uh, six years old. It's not you know 20 years old or whatever, as remastered games often are. Here, I think that it actually looks better on PS3 in that shot there, but. No, it's, it's better on PS4. See, it's kind of, I, I don't know, I'm not certain there. Not too much of a difference. Now, here's where you really see it. You see in the background, you see you see on PS3 versus PS4. Uh, I mean, I sort of like the the aesthetic of the PS3 background, but PS4, it's way better. Like the, the background, um, you know, Gotham map, basically, is what I'm saying. So is he going to go into the... Oh, nice. And you can even see in Arkham City on the back of his... Uh, on PS4, on the back of his cape, you can see the little textures of it. So it definitely pops more. And once again, you see that the colors are just more defined. You have the black, whereas the cape looks more like blue on PS3. Maybe that's just because of the PS3 that they played on to get this trailer. But how much more is left of this? Oh, we still get about a minute and a half. Okay, cool. And... uh 
Yeah, here, I mean... The combat looks about the same. I was wondering if they were going to change up the combat in any way, but no. Maybe in implement some Arkham Knight things there. Here, PS3 looks better, if you'll see. I think so, anyway. Um... Not in the face, but in terms of what's behind him, like the dumpsters and all the, the weeds coming out, I liked PS3 more there. PS4 looks... Whoa, I don't know. See right here, like, if I were to pause it right there, which I just did, which messed up my video. If you were to pause it right on the Catwoman shot, I feel as though literally the only difference in that shot is uh, the colors. That's it. Like, I, I, like, right there, I don't see... I don't see a change. Like, she's a little tanner there in the right side she looks more pale but i don't see any difference in the graphics if that makes sense and the definition of her face or anything like that uh jim gordon looks worse here on ps4 he looks better on ps3 but um overall it definitely looks better on ps4 harley quinn always looked good on the ps3 versus ps4 comparison even from the initial trailers you see what i'm saying like even right there in the harley shot there's no difference besides in the colors right there she did look a little better on ps4 but Oh, does Jimmy G say, oh no, that's right, the battering saves him, okay, cool. So, October 18th, 2016, the game's finally done, or, you know, at least to a, a point at which they're happy with it, let's go to my camera. So, overall, I was impressed with that um, comparison, I think, you know, generally the PS4 does look better, there was a few instances you saw where I was like, ah, I don't really notice the difference, or maybe PS3 looks a little better in a few of them, but uh, overall, I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on the remaster. I've had it pre-ordered since, like, May or something crazy like that, like a long time. I, I got it the first day I could pre-order it. So I'm looking forward to playing it and, um, you know, just looking forward to playing it. I'm, I'm going to 100% it. I'm going to do a full playthrough um, of both games, and that's going to be up on my main channel, most likely, of Asylum and City. So that's going to be really fun, and I look forward to doing that and 100%ing both of the games again. And, um, you know, having more Arkham content to play, um, you know, on, on the channel and stuff like that, intermittent between, of course, all the other games and stuff to cover, because Injustice 2 comes out in early May um, of 2017, early 2017, so that'll be something nice to fill the void between there, of course, we'll have Batman, the Telltale series videos, and, and tons of other stuff to do as well, and, um, you know, they really, they, they, uh, I mean, they're doing the right thing here. This is the next progression for the marketing campaign is to show that, hey, you know, after that initial launch and people that are just comparing the trailer to, uh, you know, actual gameplay, which can be misleading in a way, they're trying to say, hey, it's not, you know, that's misleading. That's not what you're actually getting with this game. And that's the next logical progression for the marketing campaign to prove that they are, this is a remaster. This is an improvement from what you played on PS3 and PS4. Uh, or in Xbox 360, and you need this. You need to buy this, even if you already own it on last gen, which is another big thing. A lot of people say, I already own the game on PS3 and Xbox 360. I Why do I need to upgrade? This is where they can really attack that. They need to say that you need to play it because the game looks crisper. It looks better. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm also wondering, by the way, if you can have profiles carry over from PS3 to Xbox 360. So if you don't want to replay the game and campaign, if you can take your Xbox 360 profile and, and load it into the, you know, your, your whatever. I, I know you could do it today on Xbox One because everything's in the cloud. I don't know if you could back then. So anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know if you're more excited, less excited, buying, still not buying, whatever, for Batman Return to Arkham Remaster. I'm really curious to see. I'll be reading all the comments in this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. My name is Slickmoff. We'll see you in the next one.